So I found this little quirk with the Mega Collection Plus, and I want to basically help anybody who's been having problems, right? So, whoops. Uh, I'm going to first, you know, give you an example of just booting up raw, right? You know, you set up game, you know, you're ready, you have the controls set up, you know, you, you know, you probably pick full screen or window, depending on how you feel. Maybe you want borderless, you know, whatever, right? That's how you, you know, you want your game set up, right? So you go to boot up the game, right? You hit play. And, you know, the game boots Sega. up. Loud ass Sega uh, noise, you know, par for the course. You boot it up, right? You hit the A button, this happens. I didn't push any buttons. That by itself, it it just moves. It's this constant left input. Well, a common solution to this left input problem, right, is to, you know, boot up something like Joy 2 Key, for example, right? Or if you're with an Xbox controller, Joy X off, you know, some shit like that, right? Well, what if I told you you don't have to do that? Shocker. Well, if you you know you hit command r you can open up the run full you know the run application you know you do shift percent which is you know shift hit five i, I say shift percent i don't know why it's like an affectation of my brain you know you open up your app data folder you know by default when you open app data it opens roaming all you have to do is scroll down to the sega folder you know just keep scrolling right it's gonna take me a while to find my sega folder it's a little weird Right? You open Sega, and then you go to the Mega Collection Plus folder. You have the settings.ini, right? Which I already have here. So, here's the thing. Every time, oops, you boot that up, okay? You boot the configurator up, which you have to, to run the Mega Collection. It does not matter, right? You have no choice. The configurator has a, a sort of bug, I want to say. It's probably due to the way that it handles the D-pad. It will create an alternate control for the d-pad and what happens is is it will by default push down one of these buttons specifically left so how do we fix it well there are two steps to fixing it the first step is to just remove every instance that you see button alternate that's what B btn al al is short for alternate right and then you just delete them, right? And then you save the file, you close it. Oh, 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 before you boot up the game, there's a caveat, all right? If you boot up the game, it will rewrite that, and you still won't be able to write anything. So, this is what you have to do. Set it to read only. I know it sucks because you can't, you know change the controls you're gonna have to remove read only to change the controls next time and have to read delete you know the alternate file but this is the result when you do it right i'm gonna boot up the game Sega! right hit start Ta -da. no tricks no gimmicks this is literally how you fix it you're welcome.